In this video, we are going to look at cleaning up your system or freeing disk space using the new Windows 11 Cleanup Recommendations feature. Also, we'll take a look at the much older disk cleanup utility option. And of course, my favorite of all three is the last, which is CCleaner. As a trio, the three together will get your system up in shape and recover space that you might need. So let's begin. First, click on Start. Go into your Settings. On the left-hand side, make sure System is selected. Scroll down on the right here until you see Storage. Click on it. And you'll see at the bottom, it says Clean Up Recommendations. You just have to wait for a few seconds for it to load. Already, once it's loaded, click on Clean Up Recommendations. And you'll see at the top here, you have temporary files. It lists all the temporary files that can be deleted from your system. Now, bear in mind, please pay attention to this screen because under your downloads, I personally use my downloads folder as a temporary storage location, and that's it. Once I'm finished with everything in my downloads folder, I delete it. So for me personally, my downloads folder needs to be cleaned up. So I'll go clean up and I'll clean up everything in downloads, my previous Windows installation, and my recycle bin. It does give you a warning about your downloads, so make sure you do pay attention to that. When you scroll down, you'll have a look at one section here that says large or unused files. This helps you determine if you've got movies or something else on your hard drive that may be taking up very large part, uh, amounts of disk space. But also on this one, please pay attention to what's on here because if you do keep movies on your computer or TV shows or anything like that, this can potentially remove all of those. So only delete those that you're absolutely sure that you want to clean. Recent files is anything that you've recently opened, which is pretty self-explanatory. Files sync to the cloud. If you're linking your computer to OneDrive, everything that you've uploaded will be listed. And again, you have to be really careful what you clean. Here's my favorite, unused apps. They finally added this in where you can actually highlight something that you're not using on your computer and you can actually remove it finally. Again, please pay attention to that one because you don't want to delete something that you could potentially be using. Let's close that down and we'll go into the second one that I like. This one, you click on Start, and you begin by typing Disk. And when you see the Disk Cleanup app pop up on the screen, open it up, select Drive C, or whichever drive you want to clean, then click on Clean Up System Files. Again, your drive selection will pop up, just go OK. And this will take a while to load, depending on your computer and depending on how much there is there to be cleaned up. So once it's loaded up, Go through this list and select off everything that you typically want to clean up off your system. For me personally, I always select everything in here. I know a lot of people say, well, leave optimization files, etc. in place, but they're temporary files which can be recreated and this cleans up the space for me. Once you've selected everything, click on OK. It prompts you just the final time. Are you sure you want to delete these? And you go delete the files. Okay, so that's just clean up. And now we'll deal with a third party app that I recommend to everybody. And I install it on every computer that I work on. And that is, I would say the famous CCleaner program. It's loaded on my computer, which I have under here, CCleaner. If you don't have it, go to piriform.com. I'll link that in the bottom so you have the web address and download the version that you, you would use yourself. CCleaner free is of course free, but it doesn't do any automated cleanings. And there's a few other things with the pro version, which is really handy to have. But determine for yourself what you want to download. In CCleaner, you've got to go through this list and select things that you want to clean up. For me, every single browser that I have, so Microsoft Edge, Edge Chromium, Internet Explorer, Firefox, I've kept these the saved forms and passwords in these deselected for now because I'm testing something in my browsers. But typically on my main computer, I have all of these selected and my browsers do not save any usernames, any passwords, anything. I make sure it's all deleted so that it's clean and free from being hacked into because I've left usernames and passwords in the browser. So once you've selected what you want, just click on Run Cleaner. And again, it depends on how much garbage you have on your computer as to how long this program takes to actually run. I find this of the three options, CCleaner is by far the best option for cleaning up your computer. There's various other features that are handy, but just the cleaning option on its own is really handy. As you can see, disk cleanup, it can take anywhere from a couple of minutes 
to I've had the worst I've taken is probably about 45 minutes to an hour to clean up a system because it does depend on what they have on their computer. So hopefully this has helped you. By all means, give us a thumbs up at the bottom, like this video, share it if you need to. And until next time, folks, take care. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Bye for now.